Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. To start off, I'm just gonna head it back to my past self in three, two, one. Hey guys, so today I'll be having lunch with one of my secondary school friends, Marco. We haven't seen each other for quite a while since the virus has been going on, but uh, this is actually the, uh, uh, the, the restaurant, the same restaurant uh, last time when I posted that double outdoor meals video thing. So. Yeah, we'll be having lunch and then we'll go up to my place to work for a bit. Uh, it should be fun. So he's not here yet. So uh, I'll have to wait until he comes. I'll get, I guess I'll take my orders first. I ordered this chicken fried rice combo thing because it was the recommended dish for the day. I moved on to washing the utensils for myself and Marco because I'm such a nice friend. But also because I'm an idiot, I spilled some water on my order sheet and have to fill in a new one. Marco arrived a few minutes later through the flowery entrance that was way too short for a tall guy like him. As soon as we put down our orders and settled down, he showed me his Notion workspace. Notion is an app that I discovered through Ali Abdel's videos and is what I mainly use to get my life together. Whether it's studying, managing to-do lists, or writing this very voiceover script, I use Notion. Marco discovered Notion not too long ago and started using it too after I continuously bombarded him with Ali's videos via WhatsApp. This app really makes you feel like working, and that's why you see the two of us getting so excited. We even went through some of the active recall questions Marco wrote for Ali's Skillshare course on how to study for exams. Once again, I realized how impactful the forgetting curve could be. What's his favorite technique? Is it favorite technique? Oh yeah, how's your favorite technique? Favorite technique is to explain a goal. By the way, I reached out to Ali to ask for permission to include his videos in this vlog, and he actually replied to me by saying yes. Well, sort of. So I got home about an hour ago from my first practice with the school's swimming team, and that will be another video, but you wouldn't believe what I just got in my email. Check this bad boy out. Look at this. So basically, I was asking for permission uh, from Ali, Ali Abdel, um, to like include like a few seconds, to include like a very short clip from his videos. Uh, and I got a reply from him. Well, not from him exactly, but from his personal ex uh, uh, assistant, uh, Elizabeth. So uh, she was very nice. She gave me a cheeky smiley face at the end. And um, yeah, I thanked her and uh, hopefully she'll help me thank Ali as well. But like, so I'm just like, I'm just feeling like really, I can't really describe how happy I am right now, how excited I am right now. I know you, you like you guys will say, "Oh, it's just a, it's just a, you know, a little response to an email," but like when you followed like someone long enough and you like you're like you're inspired by them a lot, uh, like and and you get like some sort of connection or you interact with them, even though like. I did not really talk with Ali. I only t like I didn't even talk with this assistant. I, I I just like I was able to email, get a very short email response from her. But like that already means a lot to me. It it's just like Ali. How what Ali said. Like you can you can increase your own luck. You can increase your s surface area for luck events to happen if you reach out to enough people, uh, reach out to enough opportunities. So. Um, yeah, I just want to show you that because I think I'm cool because I got uh, an email response from like Ali Abdel's personal six assistant to permit, permit me to use uh, probably a 5 or 10 second clip of one of Ali's videos. Uh, yeah, so I thought that was cool and I thought I'd share it with you guys. Um, now back to the original video. And that was the story of how I managed to sort of connect with Ali. Now back to Marco and myself. Our conversation about Notion was interrupted though, when our desire for food shifted our attention to the steaming hot chick that was placed in front of us. So here's a look at that chick. While eating, we caught up with each other about our recent quarantined lives and our expectations for the new semester. Marco has been one of my best mates since my first year at secondary school. 
He fooled around in class, had a lot of fun on the football pitch, and wasted a lot of time playing GTA, SA, and FIFA back then. In fact, he was my teacher in the course All You Need to Know About Cursing 101. As they say, to learn a language, one must learn the swear words in that language first. And Marco has done a perfect job educating me on foul language as well as some other areas in life I'd better not talk about here. All jokes aside, Marco is one of the people who has had the biggest impact on my life for he was the person that got me to start treating my studies seriously again when we were about to face our public exams, the dreaded Hong Kong DSE. He's now studying economics at the University of Science and Technology in Hong Kong, and it's just nice that we still get to hang out every once in a while. After lunch, we went up to my place for some hashtag productivity work. My grandma brought us some muskmelon to snack on while working, and for a while, I was eating more than I was working. Fortunately, I soon jumped back into working on my personal statement for a scholarship I was applying for, while Marco kept working on tasks for the ISEC club at his school. I'll talk more about ISEC in a bit. With Marco working alongside me, I managed to get in a solid 3 hours of work without procrastinating in between my work sesh. This really proves the power of studying together and makes me think that I should do this more often with perhaps the new people I meet in university. At around 6pm, we had dinner while watching some YouTube videos. I showed Marco several music videos created by Ryan Higa, another one of my favorite YouTubers. I became addicted to his songs and recited the lyrics of most of the songs a few months ago during quarantine. This is active recall in action and I'm pretty sure Ali would be proud. I've also considered filming myself singing for a while now, and I'm probably gonna do it in the future just for fun. So right now I'm, I'm attending a session hosted by the ISEC club uh, at our school, and it's another club I want to join. And Marco here actually is the uh, the uh, LC manager in his school, uh, UST. Uh, so right, so yeah, like I'm attending this, and we'll learn a, a thing or two about the club and hopefully I'll, I'll make the club as well. ISEC is an international organization that helps young people from around the world to look for internships, and it's fully run by people aged between 18 and 30. There are branches in most universities, and I was very eager to join the one at BU at first. However, I've decided that now, being in the MUN club, and the swimming team, and making these videos is enough work for the time being considering I want to do reasonably well academically. So I've decided the ISEC clubs offer for me to attend their interview after this very briefing session you're seeing right now. Still, I socialized with some of the ex of the club, while Marco patiently explained what duties each department at ISEC is responsible for. Hey guys. Hey. Hello. I think I've talked to both of you on WhatsApp, is it? I don't actually remember. <laughs> While being in a breakout room, I told people I was going to include them in the vlog and try to film their reaction. Sadly, my stabilizer stopped working right there and then, and I wasn't smart enough to just film with my phone. I told Marco how big of an idiot I am before he got a notification from Skillshare telling him that his one month free trial is going to end in a few days. <sighs> Marco stayed till 9.30 p.m. and went home because he had an ISEC club meeting of his own he's got to attend to. And so, for the remaining hour, I listened to more sharings from the Exgos and chatted with some people by myself till 11 p.m. when the event finally ended. So, that was the ISEC Touch event. Um, it was great to learn more about the club and also, uh, it was great to have Marco by my side. Uh, like, he's an actual, he's an actual ISEC himself. Uh, the LC manager of the outgoing global talent uh, department at his school's I ISEC club. So, it was great to have an actual ISEC -er, a friend, who I can like ask questions about the club itself so yeah and I also gotta thank him like for coming over because if it wasn't for him like working with me I probably wouldn't have been as productive I would have def I definitely would not have been as productive as I was today like working the whole afternoon uh, yeah so that's it for this video um, 
if I do make the team, like the interview is coming up uh, in a few weeks or so. So if I do make the team, I'll let you guys as, as, uh, know as soon as possible. And until my next video, I'll see you guys later.